toddler loses arm at hybrid wolf enclosure in grandmother's Michigan Animal Sanctuary. Michigan Wildlife Authority seized more than a dozen animals from the facility. Muskegon, Mitch. Wildlife authorities are investigating after a little girl in Michigan lost her arm at the edge of a wolf dog enclosure in her grandmother's animal sanctuary. Michigan's Department of Natural Resources, DNR, said authorities seized 15 animals from the Howling Timbers Animal Sanctuary and found another 47 illegal wolf dog hybrids that were left on site. As the name suggests, those animals are crossbreeds that have a mix of dog and wolf genetics. Authorities are blaming one of them for the toddler's injury, although Howling Timbers wrote on its Facebook page that the girl was not bitten, but rather caught her arm in the fence. Brenda Pearson, the toddler's grandmother and the facility's operator, told Men News Tuesday she did not want to speak with the media about the incident until she has hired an attorney, although she disputed how other outlets characterized her past remarks, accusing them of twisting her words. Authorities said that breeding wolf dogs is illegal without proper licensing and that they are dangerous. After receiving a tip about the child's injury, which occurred in July, investigators said they obtained a warrant to search the sanctuary last week. No person should be allowed near those dogs, Conservation Officer Anna Cullen said in a statement after going to the site. It's not fair to this child who lost an arm. We are doing everything we can to ensure the safety of anyone who may encounter any animal at Howling Timbers, including the health and safety of all the animals at the facility. In a statement, the DNR said it was investigating Howling Timbers, which it said is an unlicensed facility. We want to make sure that anyone who comes into contact with these animals at this facility is safe, and that all of the animals at the facility are being cared for properly, Stephen Burton, assistant chief of the DNR Law Enforcement Division, said in the statement. A DNR spokesman did not immediately respond to a Min News request for additional information, but outside groups praised the state's actions at the facility. State officials were right to crack down on this unlicensed operation, because backyard menageries serve up a risky and cruel cocktail of inexperienced owners and no government oversight, Debbie Metzler, the associate director of captive animal law enforcement for the PETA Foundation, told Men News. This awful incident illustrates exactly why no